Hi, so I totally forgot about what I'm doing. Okay, you need to get my wedding dress cleaned. Do something nice for normal Pearl. Make things up with Slunkin Betrella. And then you're done. Oh, okay, so she's aware of the other Betrella. Slightly weird. Slightly weird. No, nope. I don't think I can do anything with Terry. Uh, I could put the firecrackers in there, but can we look at this book? It's mostly a few hundred ways to use stink bombs. There is one vaguely diabolical scheme, though. Go to one of the trophy shops, order a worst trophy shop trophy, then give that trophy back to them and say, you win! Whoa. Oh, that's evil. Let's do it. Oh, oh, robot. It's the robot. I appear to have... Hmm. It's a life-size picture of a robot's face. Neat. You can take it, child. Ooh. Okay, if you're... Well, I mean, if you're offering... Oh, what's this? No witches. I appear... Hmm. An Ugrapoop... <laughs> Ugrapoopapapater? I'm not even sure this thing is on. Okay, so that didn't work. Is there a poster in here I can steal? I drew... Be Beware the moon? I have so many things. Can I go no, in here? You... Okay, apparently I still can't go in there. Let's try using the firecrackers on the bike. A few little bangs should be enough to lure him out. Yeah. Three, two, one. Uh! What? My bike. My precious bike. Running. You did this. You're from London. You brought this on yourself. Madness. <laughs> Madness. I'm calling the police. You wait right there. Ha! <laughs> nope. Nope. You stay away from my pants, you hear me? I have the place to myself. Yay! Use this on here. Okay, that's ready to go. Just shut the door and it should begin. Close. This is gonna take hours. Uh-oh. That was suspiciously fast. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's tiny now. Petrella's gonna kill me. Look at a clean but very tiny wedding dress. Can I use it? No, apparently not. Um, let's try using... Mm, too low, I think. Use this on the wedding it's dress. just showing a sad face now. Okay. Okay. So now I've got a clean wedding Please. dress. Tell me my pants are okay. Maybe? You're joking, right? He'll punch me in the nose. <laughs> You're joking. Okay, guess we can't talk to him. Um, yes. Use the wedding dress on her? I'd better not. Okay. I have absolutely no idea where to go and what to do now. I'm going to try giving the robot the poster. Listen, the only robot who could tell me I'm not is no Oplo. I'd better go. Kia. Let's try use that on Terry. Hey, up. Okay, maybe not. Give the poster to Terry. No, it's mine. Okay, sorry. Hmm. I have no idea where to go. I want it. Oh, should we see what Petrella says, if anything? Bye now. Bye. Take care. Hmm. See you later. Don't do anything. Okay, what did Slug King Petrella ask me to do again? Can Mum do anything? No. Okay. Bye. What's the Hmm, fridge, pastry base. I'm guessing I don't have the money to do the other thing. 
See you. Get me out of it. Hmm. It's betrayal. No apology, no meat. I don't know what to do. Let's go back towards town. Oh no, let's see if we can do anything with the slug things. I'd better keep. Oh. Oh yeah, but sorry, this is what Petrella or Slug King Petrella. Uh, I've come to murder Randy. I've come to murder Randy. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I was worth a try. I've come to talk to Randy. Talking, huh? What about stuff? It's stuff, is it? I can't argue with that. Yay! Oh, we're inside! Is anyone here a slug monster? Hey! She's the one that tried to kill Birchella 13! 13? Is that true? Chuck her out, Boris! Wait, please! Uh, you, you clone my friend, prepare to die! I desperately need a cup of tea. I desperately need a cup of tea. She just wants tea. We can all relate to that. Indeed. No tea for criminals. Chuck her out. No, wait. I'm here to talk to Randy. Me? What do you want to talk to me about? Murder. You have to let Slug King Petrella go. It's Petrella, she's not coping. Coping. Copying, I was going to say. Uh, you have to end your protest. Hmm. Let's try this you one. You have to let Slug King Petrella go. Oh, this Petrella been moaning again. If you make her stay there much longer, I think she might die. All the Petrella clones are like this. So you let go? <sighs> Look, we need some leaflets printed up. Leaflets about what? About what a bleeding toss pot that judge is. Aye. Charming. He's our greatest enemy. The slug killer. <sighs> so what's in this leaflet? I'm going to need the uh, printing money up front. Very true. Uh, let's try this in order. Oh no, let's try this so one first. So what's in this leaflet then? We've all got some ideas. He's a feckin' great big toss pot. Charming. Right on, Boris. So, I'm writing this myself, am I? Just the words. I see. So, get some quotes from us, get it printed, jobs are good. Fine. <sighs> okay. So, what's your quote for the leaflets? He's trying to make it illegal for us to clone people. But in your natural state, you don't have thumbs or hands. Exactly. So, I could say he wants to cut off your hands. Oh, I like that. Put that in. <laughs> Simple quotes. Most memorable. You're the boss then. How's that working out? Aye, it's not bad. Organising this lot's a pain in me bum though. I can imagine. And that Burchella clone is a chuffing nightmare. It's a chuffing nightmare. Are there a lot of Burchella clones then? Oh, she's so nice to clone. A lovely smooth head. Am I going to be cloned one day? You? Old lumpy head? I don't think so. Old lumpy head? <laughs> Ooh, I think you touched a nerve there. Bye. Um... Linda? That's an actual slug person. Do you have a quote for the leaflet? He wants permission to farm slugging for the sticky ghoul. That's dark. He'd have us in cages with humans going at us with spoons. spoons. I think that speaks for itself. So, you're kind of naked. What's the matter? Does our natural state disgust you? It's different. different. Hater. It's just, there's a lot more sticky goo than I was expecting. Bye. Does that make me technically a racist? Am I against slugs? Or just slug people? Equal rights for slug people? Anything you want on the leaflet? It is said 
He has underpants made from the skin of a slugkin. Oof. He's the only monster here. Okay, I'll put dresses himself in the skin of a slugkin. Oof. Wow. That fiend. I think that's enough quotes now. Just needs printing somehow. Tiny Batrella. So, you're a tiny Batrella. Sometimes the cloning goes wrong, Steggy. You look sad. Why do you look sad? I'm supposed to be getting my weed this week. Oh. To Tiny Norman Paul. You have to help me, Steggy. I should say, I'm not good with weddings. It's me dress. It's, it's normal sized. And you're extremely petite. That's one way to phrase it. Tiny one. Tiny, I said. Too much to ask, apparently. That's harsh. Well, it just so happens that I have a tiny wedding dress. Use tiny wedding dress, Petrella. Better not. Okay, um... Give tiny wedding dress to Petrella. You mentioned you need a tiny wedding dress. It just so happens I have this thing here. Oh my god, Steggy. You've saved my wedding. I don't suppose I could have your full size one, could I? Yeah, I don't need it. Too small for you, though, Steggy. It's not for me. Yay! Look at the clean, normal size wedding dress. Bye, tiny Petrella. Right, I'm ready. You may enter. What? What? Uh. It's a slugkin wearing a box for some reason. Is it me mum? So, uh, what's with the box? I'm hiding my face. See, you make it sound like that was a stupid question. Wait, are you a Steggy clone? With your stupid lumpy head? I don't think so. Hey! <laughs> oh god, are you another Batrella clone? There's about 20 Batrella clones now. So she does attract Slugkin then? She's just so buttery smooth. Mm -mm -mm. You better just tell me right now. You promise you won't be angry? I promise I don't have any salt water on me. Fair enough. The truth is, I've cloned your mum. What? what? Yes, it's your job, Steggy. No, no, no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. I called it. I didn't actually. I had no idea that that was. But that is pretty funny. Also, she's lost a lot of weight. Just put that there. Bye, mum. I mean... Uh, ah, start paying rent. This is a nightmare. Oh, can I get that box? Say, are you using that box? It's mine. Get your own box. Come on, you did clone my mum. Come on, you did clone my mum. You owe me. Fine. If it'll shut you up. Yay! Free box! Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to use this box. Look at the large cardboard box with armholes. Sure. Bye. <laughs> okay, so the only person left to talk to... Can we talk to Randy again? No, okay. Bye. So, Boris? Your job is looking after the door. And the password. You don't have to do that now. I loved that password. I'm sorry. Can we can we use the it's box? It's like a robot costume if robots were made of cardboard and <gasps> didn't have faces. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Use this on that here. This box isn't shiny enough. Um oh, give this to the box. No, it's mine. Okay. Mm. I got a feeling I can make a robot costume here. But I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Is this normal? Bonometer. Use this on the box. It's just showing a sad face now. Nuts. Can I use the box? No, I'd like not being in a box. I know you'd like not being in a box, but can I go in the box? Um...
so I need to get these posters printed. I need a leaflet printing. Preferably for free. No money, eh? Then I shall pit you against the devil himself! How <laughs> that foul stench, Walter, close his pestilential shop for the day, and you shall have ye leaflets. I think I'll just try the other shop first. Happy days. Happy days. What was it you wanted me to do again? Have Beelzebub's own sphincter close his accursed lair. That's what. Any ideas how to do that? Not a single one, my child. Oh, great. I'd really be Beware the moon. Ooh. Oh, wow. I've got a leaflet I need printing, so would you mind closing your shop for a day? I would like to order one trophy, please. I would like to order a trophy, please. Aye, I can do you a trophy. Uh, what shall it say? Um, worst trophy shop? Uh-oh. Hello? This again, is it? Ye be doing the work of a demon. Sorry, did I say worst trophy shop? I meant to say... World's best pie, least lumpy slug king, best trophy shop. Hmm, I'm getting a word. Ooh. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's try this uh, one. World's best pie? World's best pie? Yes. Are ye sure? No, wait. Best trophy shop. Uh, best trophy shop? Oh, this is a trophy shop owner's dream, my child. For years I have pursued the dream of value and not having witches in my shop. You're a hero. Here ye go. Right, well, um... Aren't ye going to present it to me? Actually, this is for Wendy Print. Oh, sorry, you were the runner-up. Oh! No, you failed the witch inspection last week. <laughs> no, you failed the witch inspection last week. I see what be <laughs> happening here. Ye had me make a best trophy shop trophy for that unholy beast next door. This town has fallen to the devil. It is too late to save it. Well, balls to ye! I leave ye accursed souls in the hands of Wendy. May the Lord have mercy on your putrid, rancid soul. So, you're going to shut down for the day? Get out! I feel like I'm lucky to get out of there alive. I think, uh... In many respects, what I did here today is probably wrong on some level. I, th I think, uh, I think I touched a nerve. What do you think, guys? Walter Print is closed. You have struck a fine blow against evil, my child. I'm not proud. Can I have my leaflets now? You may. And what shall be written upon them? Down with the slug killer. Down with the slug hunter. Down with this sort of thing. Um, down with the slug killer? Down with the slug killer. Lovely. Then? He dresses himself in the skin of the slug king. He wants to farm slug king for their goo with spoons. He wants to cut off the slug king hands. Um, he wants to farm the slug king for their goo with spoons? He wants to farm slug king for their goo. With spoons. Spoons! He dresses himself in the skin. He wants to cut off the slugkin hands. Let's try this he one. He wants to cut off slugkin hands. And after that? And finally dress himself. dresses himself in the skin of slugkin. And after that? That's it. Very well. This fellow sounds like a prize beast. Very much so. Who is he? He's called, uh, you know, I didn't think to ask. I see. Here are ye leaflets. Yay, leaflets. Can I talk to you for anything else? I don't think I need anything else. I drew. Beware. Beware the moon. Okay, so back we go. You again? Come in then. Thank you. 
Here are your fudging leaflets, Randy. Aye, ah, it's not bad, this. I will let Bertrella go to the pub. Yes. I mean, assuming she ain't already gone. <laughs> Good old Bertrella. Let's try using this on the trophy. It's 9,000 mega udgrams. Whoa. Still too high. Okay, let's try back this way. We might as well drop off the wedding dress. Give the wedding dress to Petrella. Right, let's have a look at this then. It's as good as new. You're telling me the labels come back. Mine in detail. Really? How bizarre. That's dead good. I can take it back to the shop and get my money back. Oh, Classic jeez. Classic Petrella. Right, just need to sort out your clone and normal Paul. So, are we friends again? Don't be daft. You still need to make amends to my clone and normal Paul. Oh, precious special me. When will you be mine? Okay, let's get back out here. Let's go speak to the clone. Petrella, it's sorted. You're free to go. Steggy, you're a saint. He had me writing leaflets against the competition judge. The competition you're about to make a pie for? Hey, now wait a minute. I didn't think of that. Don't worry, Flower. It'll be fine. How close <laughs> are you to getting your special meat? Just normal Paul to sort out now. See you later. Take care, Steggy. Okay, so I just need to sort out normal Paul. So I need to figure out this last puzzle then. Not today. Which I need to bring something to him that's exceptionally normal. But I have no idea what's normal. Mum can't help. Bye. Um. <laughs> hmm. Let's have a look at some of these things, see if they give us any more hints. Uh, ba Here's some baking fire. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Use this on here. I better not. No, 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 no. Use the foil on the box. Now it's a lot more like a robot costume. Ooh. Still missing something, though. The poster. Use the poster head on the, the box. The poster isn't going to stick to the box by itself. Hmm. Need some glue or something. Something sticky. The slug people, they do goo. They do sticky glue. I need sticky goo from the slug people. You again? Can can anyone in here give me bah. goo? Bye. Little sticky? No. Bye. No, little patrilla. Little mum? Bye. No. Where do I get the glue from? Bye. Hmm. The robot? Listen. The only robot who could tell me I'm normal and give me all clear is dead. There's no warp love. I'd better go. I think I use the costume eventually to um, convince him that he's normal and I think he... It's he locked. Hail Satan. <laughs> he's going to be the source of normalness. No. Honestly, I'm as surprised about this as you are. Hmm. You joke. Hmm. Where can I find glue? They're washers I don't want to pay to use. You joke. Hmm. Open? No. Um. Walt, you have struck a fire. I'm not proud. You may. Oh, I can rechange the the thing. Down with this sort of thing. Lock. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Careful now. It's locked. 
Where can I get the glue? I thought the goo... I mean, if I had a spoon... I could... <laughs> okay, this sounded okay in my head. I could spoon the slug monster. Hmm. See you. Hmm. Can I give the trophy to Mum? I'd better not. Okay, no. Hmm. What's in the oven? Hmm. Open the bag? It's just an empty bag. I'd better not. Curiouser and curiouser. Can Petrella help? No. See? Not. No, we can't go to town. How can I... Hmm... It's either too high or too low. How can I get a spoon? So, I don't be. You still need to make amends to normal pearl. Oh, precious. Special meat, when will you be mine? Be mine, special meat! Hmm. I'd better key it. Hello? Apparently not. I don't want to put a shiny box on me. I don't want. Um, you again? Can I give this to someone? I'd better not. I don't want to put a shiny box on me. Give the box to the slug no, person? No, it's mine. Use the poster on the slug? Please forgive me. How dare yes! you? <laughs> right, the poster's been taken out. Okay, so I had the right idea. I just needed to figure out how to do it. So, use the poster on the box. A foolproof disguise, no doubt. There we go. We now have a robot costume. Okay, here we go. Toasty one. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh no, I've been found. It's okay. Keith. Keith. Is that you? Most uh, definitely I'm yes. Keith. It is I, Keith the robot. Dun, dun, dun. I thought you were dead. Razzled. Never mind all that. My friend Steggy sent me. Who's that then? Uh, the woman who was talking to you a few minutes ago. Oh. She said you needed a diagnostic. I do. <sighs> Run diagnostic. Running. <laughs> Your 56k dial-up. Normal. Well, what do you know? I'm normal. Right, well. Nice seeing you again. Bye now. Bye, Keith. My best and only friend that I ain't seen in years and thought were dead. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, use this again? Ah, that's better. Now can hey, I convince him? so I hear you're officially normal again. You heard that already? I do not find this suspicious. <laughs> hey, listen, how'd you fancy coming with me and helping fix the cosmic scale of normality? That sounds terrible, love. But I have been in this bush for about ten years. I'm starting to get bored, so uh, go on then. Up you come then. Victory! Yay! Let's try this. Use this on here. He's making a happy face, so I'm guessing this is what normal Paul wants. Yay! Let's go back to normal Paul then. And get our meat. Give... Look at... Let's look at the robot first. Hey, Terry. Terry, a Yorkshire robot's robot. Give Terry 
Perfect normal pole. Here you go. One very normal 37 Udgrum robot. Safe, clean and normal. Yes, yes, this will do it. It's normal enough. And boss level normal, love. I can use his pure normalness to balance the cosmic scale of normality. Um, Terry. He's called Terry. Such a normal name. So normal. Normal. Steady, I officially accept your apology. I think that means I've finished making amends now. Steggy! Alright, Steggy. Petrella. You've done yeah. enough. If you want the special me. Yay! Finally. I mean, thank you. Let's get the special meat. Pick up. Special meat. Finally. Come to me, special meat. Meat victory! Yes. I shall now return home and finish baking this pie. Good luck, Steggy. Thanks, normal Paul. That was one interesting adventure for just some special meat. There's no time to waste. Let's get this pie finished. Okay, let's use special meat on the pastry. Mmm, lovely. Mm -mm -mm. Then let's pick up the pastry. Ooh, that's a good hefty pie. And use the pie with the oven <sighs> and close the oven well here we are my pie Ooh, is baked okay. and i'm as ready as i'll ever be it smells lovely steggy you can't lose babe right let's get this over with that voice seems familiar uh oh oh no Ugh, i'm not eating that looks like you brought it here in your belly and puked it up thank you Mr. Pie Man. Get out of my sight. Right, who's next? Uh, guys. Hmm. Nice box costume. Looks like an actual pie. Smells good. Let's have a taste. Oh, wow. That's great. What's your... Hello! You. Hey, up. <laughs> it's the slug killer. Wait, what? Oi, Dustbot. Who read this yet? Ah, oh, mate, Steggy wrote it. You destroyed my bike. You print this filth, you're disqualified. Forever. Lifetime ban. Oh, for crying out loud. After all that, I get disqualified. You're lucky I don't pull your bloody head off. Hey up, mate. You better bugger off back to London. Aye, Steggy's with us. You tangerine bollock. Oh, you guys. Aww. Where's the staff? The locals are being mean to me. You're not allowed. That's it. Off your pop, you chuffing nutter. I don't care what some fancy pants slunking murdering tusspot from London says. This <laughs> here is the best pie. Aw, thanks, some. normal Petrella. No, me. No, me. Today was a choice between my friends and being banned from this competition for life. Me first! Me! Give it to me! Humble pie! Yay, friends! Yay! Friends! Jeff Goldblum, the cat.
the end. That ends my playthrough of the fantastically voiced Yorkshire Gubbins. Thank you ever so much for sticking by me to play through this one. And once again, thank you to the exceptional Eleanor Rodem for providing this to me. It has been quite a laugh. I look forward to uh, seeing future chapters of this game. It's just so good. I do. I'm, I'm generally tempted to kind of play it again off off camera just to see if I can get any additional options. By the looks of it, there will be a continue of the story for going into town at some point. So I really look forward to that. Anyway, until the next video, ladies and gents, take care and I'll see you all soon.